Hello, welcome everyone to another video. Today we're gonna go over why Jonki is the best Anki deck and not Anking for step two studying. So if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Kartik Swami. I'm an M4 in Northern California. I've taken my step one and step two. And if you want help with your tests, go to thedoctorjourney.com. We have a bunch of free resources on there. You can download them and you can keep them all at no cost. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So we're gonna get into why Jonki is better than Anking, in my opinion for step two and why I think most people should be going on to Jonki. But before we do that, I'm gonna give you both pros and cons of each one of Anking and Jonki. So first off, we have Jonki. Jonki covers just what's in UWorld. It covers all those thousands and thousands of questions that are in UWorld, breaks down those content and makes them into flashcards. Doesn't cover anything more outside of that, just specifically all the UWorld content. The pros are it covers literally all the high yield stuff and all the detailed stuff that UWorld covers, which to be honest is quite a lot. UWorld covers a lot of detailed things that are extra that and what high yield would be categorized as. So you're covering a lot of stuff. And I would say this is great for people who are in a rush, have less time to study, less time to do Anki, and also want to build a good base because it's amazing to build a good base. Um, it gives you every great explanation on the cards and they're not copy paste from UWorld. They're literally the content from UWorld rephrased into a card, making you learn the material, which is great. Obviously the cons are, it's not going to cover every single thing that's out there that could possibly be tested in step two but covers exactly what you world would and if you're happy with that i think that's enough to do really well on step two and on top of this this has 7800 cards so it's really efficient you can get this done pretty fast now moving on to onking what are the pros and cons of onking well onking has 18,000 cards for step two plus a 35,000 ish for step one and you can combine those in so the deck's pretty big now it covers everything out there a lot of the resources have onki cards made and they're compiled in on King, except the UWorld stuff, which is kind of only in Jonki. But everything else was within Anking. They have sketchy specific ones. They have Boards of Beyond specific ones. They have First Aid Step 2 ones and so on. There's a lot of different types of cards in Anking. And on top of this, you get Step 1 knowledge coming at you all the time. So it's great to cover all your bases with Anking. Now, the downside of this is there's so many cards and doing all of them in a short amount of time, especially especially if you haven't kept up with them in a while, is gonna be hard. And for someone like me, I didn't really complete all the step one, but I wanted to do all that with my step two and it was just too much to do within the time period and I couldn't do it. And reviewing these cards, you're not gonna be able to review all of them within that time period because reviewing like 40,000 plus cards is not gonna be easy. So I think Anking is amazing with so much content that it gives you, but it's so time consuming. It's not gonna be the most efficient way to approach your step two. So if you have been keeping up with your Anki cards and you have plenty of time and you want to get every single detail in there, Anking is the way for you. So there you go. Those are both details of Anking and Jonki. I still think Jonki is the best. I did pretty decent on step two just doing Jonki. It has more than enough. Literally like all of UWorld is in Anki format and I finished like a week before my exam. Had I started earlier and knew earlier about Jonki, I would have started way earlier and I would have to have more time to review and solidify the information. I think it's more efficient and I like Anki, but I'm like doing too much of it. So this Jonki allowed me to do like 500 cards a day and I could finish it within like three months. Versus Anking, I wouldn't have been able to finish. I would be doing way more cards a day to even try to finish and it just would not be fun. So Jonki's more efficient, gets you to the point and it'll help you with your UWorld questions. Some of you guys may be wondering, wait, will it artificially inflate my UWorld percentages by giving me the correct answer? Well, sure, it might get you that correct answer, but the way you're gonna get there by doing Jonki is actually you're going to understand the content and the background behind why you would get to that correct answer. You wouldn't just be straight memorizing answers and knowing answers for questions. Like it's literally just concepts of a world. I think it's really great to build a base for someone like me who started out very low. Um, I started out at a 146. You can go check out my video on step two. It was really, really hard for me um, and getting that good base up again, uh, Jonki really helped with that. And I saw an exponential increase in my scores. I think I went from 
from like a 190 to like a 220 within just doing Jonky. So I think it's really worth it. You guys should really, really try at least look into Jonky if you're um, doing Anki for step two. So there you have it, guys. There's my thoughts on Jonky versus Anki and why I think Jonky is the best Anki resource there is for step two. For those of you looking for more tricks and tips on the boards, go visit drjourney.com. We offer tutoring services. We have lots of free resources. We have videos on there. We have people who have scored above 270, like high 270s, willing to help you guys out. So visit the website to drjourney.com and we have plenty of stuff for you. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy, stay happy.